Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of Canada and the United States of America.
Prime Minister Mulroney, today we offer you a heartfelt welcome. <laughs> it's always an honor for any President of the United States to sit down with a leader of the people of Canada and in a spring. Nancy and I are delighted to see you and Mila again. Our citizens have grown to expect positive relations between Canada and the United States. However, I would suggest that we must never take our friendship for granted. The United States and Canada are poised to negotiate an historic new trade agreement. Our goal is an accord that could well be heralded on both sides of the border as a landmark accomplishment, a cornerstone for future prosperity. A new economic arrangement between Rim. But here again, let us not lose perspective on the importance of our relationship. We are still each other's largest trading partner. The commercial protecting the environment, as one would expect when two countries share a 5,000-mile common border, is also a matter of great significance. Environmental issues, especially those dealing with air pollution, are serious challenges. Today, we must build on what has already been accomplished and bring these issues closer to re resolution. Canada and the United States have been cooperating to make this a more prosperous world and also to, to make this a, a safer and peaceful world. Who can to ensure that it remains fully capable of accomplishing its mission into the next century? If all its members carry their fair share, NATO will be able to preserve the peace, which is, after all, its primary mission, and which is, after all, the responsibility of all free people. If together, is to build a better world. And in this noble endeavor, let us pray that the citizens of our two countries will always be on the same team, freedom's team. Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Alonza Travai. Thank you, Mr. President, Monsieur le Président. It's good to be with you again. And I want to repeat now that harmonious and fruitful relations between Canada and the United States are a top priority with us. With that in mind, we agreed from the beginning that it would be useful, indeed indispensable, for us to meet annually. And so we met one year ago in Quebec City. You remember? Une ère de consultation et de coopération, de cordialité et d'égard mutuel entre les deux peuples qui se tiennent en haute estime. Canadians and Americans, though different in many ways, share many of the same values. These meetings will provide a bilateral agenda, not all of them near resolution by any means. But let me say first, Mr. President, we're in a way one another's largest trading partner. But we don't take one for, the granted, for granted any more than the other. Friends stay in touch, and partners have to work at it. President Reagan and I stay very much in touch. And we're working very hard to assure that our trading partnership continues to grow on the basis of mutual interest and mutual trust. And that there won't be straight talk, even among the best of friends. It is precisely because we are friends that we speak so frankly and so clearly to each other. Delighted to be here with you today, with you and Nancy. We very much look forward to our meetings and just getting to get. Thank you, sir, and thank all of you.
President. This concludes the ceremony.